Hi, in this video tutorial, we will show you how to create a RESTful API using Node.js and uh, Express 4. So, we will start with the basic. Here, you can find all the uh, document uh, how to proceed and how to install dependencies and download codes. So, full tutorial you can see that. So, let's start with how it's working part so first we'll see uh, code structure how is code so here you can see that i've created a node api folder and uh, in that you can see that main two files that is uh, server.js and the package.js so in package.js uh, all the dependencies which we have mentioned that will install it and uh, in package do uh, server dot js you can uh, main code how it's working so see that first server dot js thing package dot js so in package dot js you can see that dependencies which is uh, express mysql and uh, body parser so this will uh, install all the dependencies so let's see how is how we going to install dependencies so first we'll type first we'll go to the folder in which you your package.json is exist so node api yeah, in this folder my package.json is there so for in that folder we'll type npm install command so by typing this command it will install all the dependencies that is in mysql uh, body parser and the express so here is installing it will take some time to install so here you can see that express body parser and the mysql already installed so here you can see that in folder that is node module in which all three dependencies are installed so let's move further and uh, will start the server and the code so how it will work that is by typing node server.js before typing this you make sure that you have installed uh, npm and uh, uh, node in your system so let's type this command node server.js so here you can see that connected and the listen on port 8080 so we'll check whether it's server running properly or not so here you can see that localhost on 8080 port our uh, server is running so here you can see that yes it's working fine so data which is coming from backend that is a welcome to bookstore demo so it's working properly so let's start with the main code how it's working so here is the server.json file uh, which contain all the code uh, for related book so on this i have created a sample book uh, book app uh, which contain all the data uh, which you can uh, add edit delete and update the data so how it's working i mean so your first we'll see here what request which we have used in that demo part so which are the requests we are going to used for express request which is a get request where that will get all the book data second is a post that will for uh, add new book data and port is for update existing data and uh, delete is one for uh, delete any uh, particular book data so here here is the server.js file which you can see that app first will require express app and then http where the server will going to run then mysql require body parser require which will use for request data from which is coming from client side so and another is connection for uh, your mysql connection that is host username password and the database name that is books so here yeah. so in which we have seen in the browser which is showing that the welcome to bookstore demo then basically data is coming from here uh, so in base path i have set it this to for check whether it's working fine or not so you that is already working properly 
so first we'll check the get request how it will works and uh, so first uh, which we have mentioned that is a book book name and uh, that is yeah here you can see that book uh, so one right routing url that is on by typing uh, local host by port 8080 slash book so this will functionality perform if you have sending uh, request as a get so this will perform another is post is the same name book so by same routing we can we have defined it uh, we have defined a particular different request that is get post put and the delete one so here you can see that uh, first is a get request of book so in get request what we are doing is a connection uh, query uh, to fetch all the books data uh, which will which is coming from backend that is a mysql table uh, that is here we have assigned the book data so let's check uh, side by side in a post here is a postman which uh, you can check your rest apis so first we'll check the get apis so here you can see that here is uh, my url that is a uh, local host 8080 slash book and i have to make a get request so we'll click send yeah here you can see that all the book data here so by id with the uh, different book name author name price with the different books so here how it's get request works and now we'll see the post request if i have to add new particular book data into the table so we'll define first app dot post by followed by slash book that is a book data which is the same and the request and the response part what we are requesting which is uh, coming from client side which we are which will uh, send the payload from the client side here you can get that that is request dot body dot book name so by book name here you will get the book name from the front end which we have assigned to book name author name and the price one so what we are doing is make connection query uh as mysql query to add that data into the table so here is a book table and the book name author name i have concatenated this for uh, sql injection so no one make uh, it will easily hackable if you have not do this so i have already done that also so here in table we are adding that data so let's see how is how we will going to add the data so here i have uh, one post request yeah here you can see that that is in table here is the same uh, url slash book and here i was sending as a post request and here is my payload in my payload is a book name i am passing author name and the price of that book so by sending this yeah here you can see that my book data is successfully added and uh, that we can see by in get request here you can see that yeah here is our data that we have added just now all embed.js author and 543 the so this one is the post request and now we'll see the put request how put request works same app dot put slash by followed by book here is a put request so how we are going to add if your one book already exists and if you want to change some data in that book so we are going to use that put for that uh, request for updating boot data so here if we have make same as uh, first we will get all the data by id whatever id is of that book book name author name and the price here you can we'll get all the data here so we will update we'll make a query to update data update books add book name this this and the id is equal to particular id and uh, based on that we are uh, if is there any error we show the error data or else it will pass the data that is book successfully updated uh, so let's check that things first 
uh, here we are going to see book put data yeah. so we have seen that we have already added in the id uh, born id 6 uh, we have already data exists so i want to update that data so same book name and here is the put request and uh, this one is the data and i have also added the validation if price is blank suppose price is blank if you are send that data here will show that please provide all the data whatever is the data of your uh, so here i am typing 600 for now so we'll send that request and here is the book data updated i will check the get request whatever data is updated or not yeah here you can see that price is already updated by 600 so here is the put request now we'll check the delete request how it will works so here what we are doing is the same slash book request and the response here on based on id will delete the data so first we'll make a query to delete data that is a delete from book where id equal to this so by on response if we'll get something if we get error then we'll show the error data or else we'll uh, say that the uh, delete book successfully so we'll see that in that postman here is the delete data so my id on 6 id my data is present so here we'll type 6 and it will send the data yeah you can see that delete book successfully now we'll check in get request if that uh, deleted or not yes you can see that uh, that uh, data is already gone so it's deleted so here how it's all the rest api is working by uh, doing following things get post put and the delete so one in this tutorial i have used just a basic demo purpose for book uh, sample book app so even you can make something cool and, and amazing by for your future projects so how we make 